All right, Maria, thank you very much. There's another. Hey, next call is Danelle from Kent on my phone. Danelle, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Hello, I'm coming in from Kent. How are you? I'm very well, thank All right, you. Then. So, uh, we're talking about um, the early sex. That's right. All right. And my, my point of view is that it is excellent. This is not, you, you're mixing the words up. It's not about nanny state, it's about governing. It's about giving information to people to live in a civilised society. Yeah, that's the nanny state. That, no, it's yeah. about governing. It's about governments doing their job. That's what, we, that's what we vote them in for. Yeah, but it's known as the nanny state when a government tells you what to do with your life. It's not, they're not telling us what to do, they're giving us information. You have freedom of choice. Okay. So they're giving us information, they're not telling us what to do? No. They're giving us information so that we can live the best we can, we can make the best out of our lives. So therefore, it's not a nanny state, is it? Well, I don't I would say, I would completely disagree with you, I would say that is actually a, a nanny state. For example, when you are told, don't go out there and grit the roads because you may be sued, because you might not be able to grit the roads properly, because let's remember, it's a really skilled job, gritting roads, if you indeed have any grit. <laughs> and I think that is, that is, that is state interference, really. It's OK, it's not directly grabbing hold of you, but it undermines our confidence as people. And after a while, we stop gritting the roads and watch people slip slide all over the place. OK, you mentioned the smoking ban. Yeah. How do you think it's affected your life? Yeah. Well, what, what do you mean? How has it affected you? It's affected my life in the fact that I, I work in a smoke-free environment right and that's wonderful right it's affected a lot of people in that they're yeah i mean I, th I think i i i say i i think it's in, i'm broadly in favor i think there's a big argument for freedom of choice but i think that when people were smoking in pubs it robbed those that have the right to breathe smoke free air so i'm in favor of it. has it affected my life well it hasn't because i don't smoke no, I think you, you really are splitting here that in order to uh, create an argument or to... No! Create one. <laughs> yeah, no! I think everybody knows exactly what the government's trying to do. We know that they're trying to govern. We know what it's about. It's as bad as your golly argument. At the end of the day, um, the Thatcher woman said what she said in private with yeah. other people yeah. of the same race, hoping it would be OK, and it wasn't. Probably if we went to school together, by the age of 10, she would have known that's not the way you talk about other people of colour. All right? I, so don't, I don't think anybody's that. arguing. I don't it's think... Don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know. I don't think anybody is on, on, the, on the fact that she would argue likewise. Right. You know, you're, you're, not, you're, you're taking small things out of context and making it into strange arguments. Strange arguments. <laughs> Um, OK, OK. I think just so we're clear on the Thatcher thing, I don't think anybody was saying it was a good idea to compare anybody to a gollywog. The question, the debate we had done, as you obviously watched the show, was whether or not she should lose her job over it, over a comment that was said in private. But, well, what do you think? Do you think she should lose her job? She's gone. Gone. Never mind. Oh, strange think argument. About that. <laughs> but the government, she's right, the government just don't provide information, do they? They try and enforce our behaviour by mean, putting ten laws on a pie. But that's the difference, isn't it? It's about information and about laws, and those yeah. are the differences. And, and you know, in the uh, uh, Carol Thatcher situation, in Gollygate, uh, the situation there... Race-hate doll, I believe. Race-hate doll backlash, <laughs> I think it's going to be. That's great, great part. But um, is that, you know, if the government step in and say, that's wrong to say that, that's the difference between that and us as a society mm. kind of saying, actually, do you know, we think that's wrong to say that. And also, legislation, you know, legislation and laws, that is direct government intervention. Yeah, that's, that's the nanny state where, where it kind of starts to intrude in your life. Information yeah. is information. Mm. But also, the point about common sense is common sense changes over time. Common sense is not lost. Do you think you can lost. lose common sense? I mean, that's the uh, kind yeah, of... But question. Yeah, but if you were kind of like, you know, 500 years ago, common sense might have been to stick leeches on a kind of wound that, or that something. That is true. You, you don't know. do that anymore. Pardon? <laughs> Actually, actually, <laughs> they do. They yeah. do. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that right? That's they still right, do it, yeah. yeah. And I believe maggots are used as well. Yeah, actually, uh, to clean wounds. wounds, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. They, oh, so, them. great common yeah. sense. Yeah. Fantastic, yeah. <laughs> Where do we go from there? What about the maggots' rights, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what about them? <laughs> Who's going to speak for them? <laughs> Another strange <laughs> argument for Donnell, I suspect. <laughs> Let's uh, see what we make of our next one after the break when we're talking about Twitter. We're asking if it's for twits, easy pun. Twitter is uh, an internet-y thing where people post the most inane details of their lives in sentences containing fewer than 140 letters. The idea is to fire constant updates of your mood and your whereabouts to your followers. <laughs> but why? 0-7-1-7-3-5-5 is the number to dial. Is Twitter just for twits or what? We'll find out after the break. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Twitter?
Twitter page contained the astonishing revelation Greg Rosetsky came round and fired a medium fast one at me. Almost got my racket to it. Was it Jonathan Ross, Andy Murray or Cliff Richards? 